it's Mex Canadensis, and finally, at long last, I have acquired the Cinema Roll and Claudine Hello Kitty and Friends doll. When I tell you, <laughs> I went through a journey to get this doll, but none of that matters now because she's here. Um, I really, really like her. I'm really excited about her. Also, um, Sanrio recently shattered my soul because my whole life, Cinema Roll has been a rabbit to me, but it's actually a puppy with floppy ears. So I just thought I'd ruin your day too, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> um, let's check her out. So I almost want to leave her in box just because of how hard she was to get for me, but I'm gonna be rebodying her and stuff, so she's gonna be really fun out of the box too. Um, I got her on Amazon. She should actually still be in stock. I got her like last week on Amazon. Um, here's her little favorites list. She's got rainbows, cameras, her friends, and roller skates and a skateboard. And then on the back, she's like a special one because these four are part of the same wave, but then she was released on her own afterward. Um, so it's a little bit different than the last ones. Oh, I really, I still don't have a Batsmaru set. And then this side is just a like part of the blister. And yeah, so we're gonna get her out of the box. I'm excited to meet her. Oh my gosh. It just, I, I really did think I was just never going to be able to get her because I couldn't even find her for sale from like European sources at a certain point when I decided, okay, Mattel doesn't seem to be releasing anything but Barbie in the US anymore. At this point, I was like, I'm going to try to get her from the UK where she was showing up first, but she still wasn't showing up. <sighs> the picture on the back is so cute, but I don't need to keep boxes anymore. I'm only keeping like limited, limited edition boxes. And even then I'm like selling them. So I'm just... I have too many dolls to be able to be keeping all the boxes. Okay, so here she is. So let's get the puppy out first. Her puppy friend. Okay, here is Cinema Roll. So cute. Oh my gosh. See, it, I guess that's a dog tail. I, I don't know. Anyway, really, really cute little figure. They're like really hard plastic though, so they're really prone to being scratched. I don't know why they didn't use soft vinyl. Maybe this is cheaper. I don't know. But they are really, really precious little figures. My um, my Melody one fell over, like fell off of a shelf and has a scratch on her face now though, so. Don't display them on the edge of a shelf like this. Put them in the far back. Take it from me. Anyway, let's get her out. Oh, by the way, these retail for like 12 to 14 dollars ish it just depends on the store and where you get them um i think that's a pretty good deal for what you're getting um i do want to say though it is a little bit overpriced considering you're getting a largely unarticulated doll with not super detailed clothing um but for mattel first of all that's a great deal and second of all this is actually a licensed product sorry my eye is super itchy right now um this is a licensed product so it's actually quite surprising that they managed to get the price this low um which proves that um barbie could easily have this much budget because barbie isn't licensed barbie's theirs so they don't have to pay a licensing fee but anyway um i really love her hair color with her skin tone i want to do a rainbow high custom based off of this like color scheme with some pink like with some pink in it maybe because this is so cute like i i don't know i just think it really complements her skin tone well she has some light blue eyes she has golden makeup these thick blue eyebrows i love the thick eyebrows that these dolls have and her outfit is super darling as well it's actually pretty impressive compared to the others so she's wearing a crop top or is it a crop top yeah she's wearing a crop top made out of actual like shirt material it's a little bit cheaper than like anything MGA would ever use but it's actually pretty nice um and it's really cute and I like the fit of it a lot and it has like hemmed sleeves and stuff it's really it's actually really nice um and then she's wearing overalls that are attached to this um plastic piece which is like the theme of the line everybody has one of these little plastic pieces which were actually like a trend like around the time these came out or like a year before they came out but you know they're still really cute and fun and current um so Hers is just uh, like an overall piece and the piece that's vinyl is just the skirt and it has pictures of cinema roll and popsicles and little pastries and the camera. It's very, very cute. I really, really like her outfit and the overalls as well. Um, they're not made out of a super expensive material, obviously, but it is actually really nice and they are whole overalls that can come off separately and she doesn't have anything underneath. So cute. And I really love the hair, but mine's a little gappy in the back, but um, I don't really mind it. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, and she has a little star right here. Okay, and then lastly, these are awesome. Her big 
Oh, roller skates. So these are interesting. I don't know what the deal is, but if you look, her toe doesn't reach the end of the shoe capsule. The others I felt like were sized pretty well, but I get, oh no, never mind. Their toes also don't reach the edge. Interesting. And hers are, um, Claudine's are roller skates, but they're like, you see that they have like this bit that's like missing because that's the like heel part. It's very interesting. And they have like a matte paint up here that kind of fades really nicely into the see-through part. Um, I would prefer like a chunkier look. These are shaped like real human being shoes, which is a little jarring, especially because the others are pretty like bulbous, you know? Um, so it's like weird. See, they feel like they go to different like doll lines. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe that, maybe that doesn't make any sense. Oh, and also of course she has a little camera because I guess she's the little photographer friend. She's got her little Polaroid with her. She's so cute. So cute. All right, so now we're gonna take her upstairs, dip her head in some boiling water and see if we can rebody her. I'm gonna take you over to where my fail fix dolls are right now so we can see if we can get a skin tone match. I'm worried that she might be pretty arty. Oh no, she's lighter, okay. So this one's pretty arty and I only had two of pretty arty, so I didn't want, and I also like fail fix dolls, so I want to display my fail fix dolls. So um, thank goodness she's not also the skin tone. All right, so. Let's go. So all of my fail fix dolls are laid out right here without their accessories because I'm gonna be um, washing all their hair in like a batch. Um, she actually is a really good match for this character. Is this Slay DJ? I think it is. Um, sorry if you can hear the creaking that's bred upstairs. So she's actually a really, really good match for this one. So um, it's your time, girly. We're gonna take her, both of them upstairs, boil them, and swap their heads. So I will see you upstairs. The head swap, so I don't wanna get her hair white right now, so I'm just having her in a bag. And then this one I don't really care because she needs her hair washed anyway. So I boiled some water in this electric kettle, pouring it in. All right, and then I'm just gonna let them soak. You want them to soak for a little bit because that just makes the head a lot easier to remove. It makes it squishy. I left the cardboard on it well. I need a little bit more water, is what I'm witnessing. Then I'm just gonna leave them in there for a minute. This is soothing. Okay, this is probably good. So, don't need this bag. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> and her hair is, is, it isn't wet, it's like steamy. And then you really just squish this bad boy off. The anchor's in there, so it's kind of difficult. So, hold on. Mattel uses these really, really long, obnoxious anchors. So if you're gonna rebody the fail fix doll onto this one just to sell it on Mercari or something, um, just note that like you have to cut the anchor because again, Mattel uses really annoying ones. I didn't heat up her head as much as I should have here, but Slay and DJ, I'm gonna be so embarrassed. I'm sorry. Um, and I forgot how nice their hair. Oh, I forgot to get this um earring out. <laughs> anyway, these just pop right off. It's super easy with them. I say as I struggle, because they're, um, see that's the inner neck piece I was talking about? Um, there you go. And then, should just pop right back on. They actually have a really similarly sized peg, and then there you go. Or, except for this part, but the actual peg piece is normal. You can cut all this off and still get the full range of motion, so I don't know why Mattel does this. Maybe it's easier to manufacture. Um, anyway, I'm gonna put the new outfit on her, and then we will finish the review. Here she is on her new body. She looks so good. The one thing that's pretty different is that like the hands and the arm length is a little bit different and the hands are bigger. So um, it does take a little bit of getting used to, but she looks so good. Also, as I was redressing her, I like really realized that her outfit is like the perfect like trans rights outfit. It's so cute with the, the pink and white and blue. She's so beautiful. Um, I highly recommend this doll. I know it took me more work to make her like a suitable doll for me, but it's mostly because like Adding posability to dolls just adds so much emotion and versatility to them. So yes, they look beautiful like this and their bodies are really nice and cool, but the fail fix dolls, you can get them relatively inexpensive right now. I paid like $6 for this body, which came with a whole like doll head, a bunch of accessories, clothes, and I'm gonna be using the head probably to practice like face paints on since I don't think anybody's just gonna buy the heads if I sell them. Um, and yeah, overall, I, I think this is one of the better ones in this series. I actually really like them all, but her, like, overall look is better, and I think her quality is a lot better. Um, I really like this one, too, like, the different pieces of her outfit, but this outfit doesn't come together as nicely as this one, in my opinion. And then I, I really like her outfit and concept, but having these just printed on really took a lot away from her. Sorry she's not an unarticulated body yet. I haven't, um, 
Uh, none of them matched super, super good with her, so I don't really know what to do about that. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and let me know, um, were you guys interested in this line at all when it came out, or like, even now, or had you not even heard of it? I think they're really, really cute. I just think, like, imagine if a company that wasn't Mattel got a hold of them. Mattel has such talented artists and designers, and they have so many good ideas, but they don't have the budget and it's such a shame to see like beautiful designs like this um, not be treated the way that they should. Like imagine this with the full amount of dimension, it would have been such a subtle change and it could have been done at this price point and it would have made the world of difference. Um, but I understand that these dolls um, at their cheap price point, it's really, really impressive that they've managed to have the amount of quality that they do have because they are a licensed product again. Um, so yeah, sorry um, Hello Kitty isn't here by the way. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm like redoing the doll room. I'm, I'm taking down an entire wall of shelves and building custom shelves. So a lot of my dolls are just in bins right now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching for all this time. Bye. I'm back in real quick because I had forgotten to put this back on her. Also look how cute she is in like poses. I'm so excited about this. Sorry. Yeah, she fell over. <laughs> um, anyway, for real, for real this time. Bye.